You knew that you hit my son and you left him in a ditch filled of ice cold water to die. I think you were hoping Brandon was alone with no witnesses. You hit him and you went spading off because you didn't care. Laureen Dumont, Brandon's mother, relived every horrifying and heartbreaking detail of her son's final moments. You see, Mr. Brown, this is what plays in my head 24 hours a day. It's not just the words, it's like a movie that plays nonstop over and over. Brandon's family talked about the health problems he overcame as a child. They also told the court about the 26-year-old's hardworking attitude, love of the outdoors, and passion for motocross. His father, Edmund Dumont. I'm sorry, I will never forgive that thing that took my beautiful son away from us. If God doesn't accept this from me, so be it. Brown read a statement addressing his victim's family. No words in the world will ever change anything, but I am deeply ashamed and sorry from the bottom of my heart for the turmoil and pain of God. What he got today, I don't think was fair enough. After today's hearing, Brandon's aunt told reporters she'd like to see Maine's laws change so there are tougher penalties in cases like this one. Don't let my nephew and other people die in vain. The five-year sentence was an agreed-upon deal ahead of time. This morning, the judge said it was appropriate given that Brown did not have any prior OUI convictions. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.